Hey, your arts are amazing. What software do you use? Oh, I use Paint to Sigh. Oh, that's cool. Me too. Hey, Scribble takes here, and if you're a digital artist like me, you might get these questions commonly. But do you even know why they're asking you? Well, they're probably just curious, uh huh. And you'll be a good guy and reply to them because they're just curious. I hope I'm not the only one who noticed it, but I feel like whoever asked what program or whatever drawing tablet you use, they think they can art as good as you as long as they have that equipment applied. I mean, hey, I might be wrong, but I'm actually that kind of person who asks a certain artist what program they use because I'm curious. Based on my experience, I saw an artist who draws amazingly well using Medivan Paint Pro. So I thought I could do it as well, but I failed because different software can act differently on different PCs or Macs or laptops. In my case, my laptop is Hewlett Packard and is very slow with very small RAM, you know, memory. So it loses memory very easily, which also makes my speed painting videos a pain to do one. That yeah is one of the main reasons I'm liking speed painting videos. Because of my slowest laptop. Another thing I saw what looks like a beginner digital artist. I mean, judging from their art style, they never really draw. And when I look in their description, they say the drawing was them using a Wacom Cintiq. At first, I thought they used a mouse, but no, it's a goddamn freaking Cintiq. Traditional artists' most common received questions. I can spare that because. Finding a good quality paintbrush, ink pens, sketchbooks, or paints, acrylic paints, even watercolors. I mean, if you don't have a good quality equipment for traditional art, you might not have the best results. Some acrylics have bad colors. Some sketchbooks bleed through and can be torn easily. Some paintbrushes loses its hair when it comes to painting. So. Asking a professional, traditional artist for what brand they're using is completely fine. If you want to make good quality art instead of wasting them, of course. Not just artists, but even gamers. YouTube has a wide variety of gamers going around doing less plays, and people who want to be a gamer like them keep asking how they gain subscribers, oh, sub for sub, and asking a popular gamer what secret they have or what program they use to record and edit. Truth is, they don't even know how they did it. Just like what Jack Septify said, he once said in a video that when he first started, it was nothing. He barely had any views or subscribers. But if you keep uploading videos, YouTube will start to put your videos in a recommended list, and then slowly you will start to gain more views and populations. So the only thing they can say is to be patient. Asking for a screen recorder is not that bad, because some re screen recorders sucks. They have a limited time, or they have an annoying watermark in the footage. OBS was the most common free screen recorder and used by many people. Some people have been asking me why don't you use OBS to record? It's way better. Okay, first of all, it's none of your goddamn business to what screen recorder I'm using for my speed paint videos. Secondly. OBS glitches the footage and always saying CPU overloaded and stuff like that. I've gone through a lot of tutorials on YouTube on fixing that, but it's pointless. I've been trying to fix and use it over a, a year now, so I guess the main problem is the laptop I'm using. I could buy another one, but eh, I gotta use this laptop until it breaks down, or else it's just a waste of money. But what I wanted to say. Is that there are some certain things that require your own experience and knowledge instead of following whatever equipment the others use for digital art or even a single video on YouTube. Don't be jealous. Don't be too curious because you know what they say: curiosity killed the cat. That's all I wanted to say for this random vlog. Sorry for my inactivity, but thanks for tuning in today, and I'll see you all in the next video.